a Bulverde and Spring Branch, Texas neighborhood tour, plus the greatest show on dirt. Hello and welcome back to my channel everyone. I'm Tony Fries with Uncommon Realty. Today, I'm venturing a little north into the Texas Hill Country. We're gonna see what it might be like to live, work, and play in Bulverde and Spring Branch, Texas. So when a lot of people from not around here think of Texas, and I've understood this my whole life, they imagine cowboys and horses. We started watching a show on CW called Walker because our neighbor has a recurring role in it. She plays Connie. Anyway, it's funny because it takes place in Austin and everything is just so stereotypical. Now, believe it or not, we don't all wear spurs and hats to the office, but there's something in Bulverde that is just so Texan in that regard that locals and visitors alike can visit almost all year long and totally immerse themselves in an idealized Texas experience. What could this be? The Tejas Rodeo Company. Don't worry, we'll get to it later in this video. I plan on going Saturday if they don't sell out, which they do almost every time. You have to plan online. But we may have family visiting. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to bring somebody or come alone. But anyway, we're playing it by ear. I guess you'll know in just a second. But first, today, I'm starting at Nicole's Landing County Park in Spring Branch. It's a small riverfront park with parking limited to 20 cars, so I got here early. This place is perfect for a calm day on the Guadalupe River. Nicole's Landing is a day, it's day use only, so there's no camping. It's open from 9 a.m. to sunset. For most of the year, it's free to the public, but from Memorial Day to Labor Day and another day, it's wherever the attendant has to be on duty. There's a fee to access the park. I just missed it, I guess, today. It was $4 to park the car. Drop-offs and paddlers are welcome to access the park without utilizing a parking space. Now I want to show you where all this is, so let's ask Google Earth for some help. Hey bud, how about a little help here? There you go, Bul Bulverde is situated 22 miles north of San Antonio using Highway 281 and 19 miles from New Braunfels taking Highway 46 East. Spring Branch, not to be confused with the Spring Branch neighborhood in Houston, is just north of Bulverde. The two towns are virtually separated by Highway 46 which runs in between New Braunfels and Bernie. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to think of the whole area as one unit. Canyon Lake's very close, you see that? Just a little east. Bulverde is known as the front porch of the Texas Hill Country. The Hill Country is really vast, and there's sections to it that I don't have designated here on this map, but you can actually start to see some of the hills in New Braunfels, but it really starts to open up here in Bulverde. We're going to drive around and get a feel for this place, but before we just jump in the car and hit drive, I want to tell you that there's road construction along that stretch of 46. There's also major work being done on Highway 281, which is the main vein down to San Antonio. It's supposed to be all done in 2022, and with three lanes on 281, it'll be fabulous if you're a regular commuter to San Antonio. For now, though, that you know the traffic still moves. There's a couple of alternate routes, but you need to know what's happening, right, if you're coming for a visit or if you want to live here. The vast majority of this area is rural in nature. You're gonna see a lot of this as you drive around. Ranches, acreage, some farms. The tax rate for just about everyone in both Spring Branch and Bulverde is 1.8%, which is low. There are some exceptions, I'll talk about that in a moment. Also, you're in the very highly rated Comal ISD. Here's your great school rating for the Smithson Valley High School. Both towns were settled in the mid 1800s by you guessed it, Germans. Spring Branch's first pioneer established a homestead on land purchased for $1 per acre. It was named Spring Branch a few years later in 1858 after Spring Creek, a small spring-fed creek which flowed for a mile or so into the Guadalupe River. Alverde was originally called Piper Settlement after one of those early German settlers, but later renamed Alverde in 1879 after another original landowner. I guess maybe they had a fight or something. Anyway, you might be tempted to call this town Bulverde, because Spanish, Verde, green, right? Nope. Oh yeah, and deer, did you see them? That's actually a very common sight. We've even got deer all over parts of New Braunfels. One thing out here though, you wanna be careful driving at night. The original occupants, of course, were Native Americans. In fact, some of those earliest people that lived here in Central Texas between 2500 and 600 BC made and used an arrowhead we now call the Bulverde Point.
This is an area in Northern Spring Branch called Lakes of the Hills Estates. A lot of people buying their own lots here, building their dream home close to the lake. I've noticed that a lot of the roads sometimes aren't the best. In fact, sometimes they're, they're gravel roads, but if you're, if you're not a subdivision kind of person, this could be a good option. Oh, what's that you say? You might be a subdivision kind of person after all? Well, there's plenty of that. This is Preserve at Singing Hills, one of many new communities. Your taxes are gonna be higher in most of them though. They're adding an extra 0.87% for infrastructure creation, so you're now at 2.67. So there's quite a variety of real estate options up here. There's a lot of new construction, many, many brand new neighborhoods, and a lot of homes on acreage. Your median price was about 418,000 in July, which is quite a bit higher than in San Antonio or New Braunfels, which is 310, but not as high as neighboring Bernie at 448. How about something a little more? A little more home and a little more space. Lantana Ridge dates back to 1991 and features larger homes on one to three acre lot sizes. Recent closed prices have ranged between 430 and 900K. So I've talked about how rural this area is. Where do people shop? Well, you will find civilization at the intersection of Highway 281 and Highway 46. And don't forget downtown Bilberti. River Crossing Club is one of two 18-hole golf courses in the area, the other one being the club at Rebecca Creek. And I need to also mention the Guadalupe River State Park. I didn't visit it on this trip, but there's camping, swimming, fishing, canoeing, 13 miles of hike and bike trails, picnicking, bird watching, and horse riding. That's right, there's a 5.3 mile equestrian trail that you gotta bring your own horse. Have you seen enough? Is it time to go to the rodeo? All right, we made it to the Tejas Rodeo Company. I say we because I got my daughter and her family, including three precious grandkids who have not been to a rodeo before. So this will be a special treat. On the agenda tonight, we got bull riding, several roping events, calf scramble, barrel racing. They also have a steakhouse here, and there's a musical event of some kind later. Uh, Suzanne will join us later on. We might check out that music. I'm not sure if the kiddos will last, but uh, anyway, it's gonna be a good time. I recommend getting here early uh, because we got the thing starts at 7:30. We got here at 7:30. There was uh, a line to get in. The, uh, the cars were backed up outside, and now there's no place to sit. So we found some seats in the nosebleed section, but we had to crawl over a bunch of people anyway. Get here early.
right, it's all over. We had a wonderful time. What a great experience. The people that made this possible are doing such a terrific job keeping traditions alive. I hope they didn't suffer too much with the COVID lockdowns and all that stuff. Everything seemed to be running smoothly tonight. The help was uh, very friendly. Anyway, we'll be back, I'm sure. Uh, you should definitely do this if you're in town. If you're looking to live here or anywhere near here, make sure you reach out. Days, nights, weekends, phone, text, email. I love hearing from you. I, I want to hear all about your exciting plans. If you're moving to Texas, if you're just going to visit, make sure you come down here and check this out. Uh, I complained earlier about it being too uh, full, the, the stands. Well, after a couple of events, things kind of thinned out a little bit, and we, we wound up with some pretty good seats. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. So, uh, see you next time. Thank you.